So this goes for any wood stove, freestanding or a fireplace insert like this. This is a airtight wood insert that went into our existing masonry fireplace. So this is a rectangular firebox in here, but um, on the freestanding, it's a square firebox. So you can lay the wood in either this way or this way if you have the square firebox. Okay, so we've got a nice bed of coals happening. Let's open this up. Okay. I like to smooth them out. So they take up the whole firebox. I just basically fill it up with as much wood as it'll take. So, in there, the very back. In there. In there. I got a little shorter piece here that I can stick on the side. Depends on the sizes of pieces you have, but that's pretty good. And I just close it over like that and let it get going. Okay, so it's been burning for just over five minutes. So we're gonna close that door up and just let it sit for a minute or two and then we're gonna damp it down. And that's where the airtight part of the stove comes in. Um, it's very efficient. Once you damp it down, you'll see what happens with the flame. My damper is right here. So I'm just going to push that in all the way. It slows it right down and eventually the flame just hovers above the wood. It's still getting a little bit of air, but we've restricted that air a lot. And this is what happens. And that's how it burns all night long. It slows the burn right down and you'll have coals in the morning. And I'm gonna show you that. All right, well, we'll see you in the morning and I'll show you how much coals are left and how easy it is to get it going again. All right, well, good morning. Uh, it's about six in the morning. Coffee time. Um, so, oh, hi, Levi. Here's my puppy. My puppy dog, Levi. Yeah. Yeah, so there's it is. So there it is. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still a little groggy here. <laughs> There's Levi. Good morning, Levi. Good morning. You're a good puppy, aren't you? Yeah. That's after about a, I guess about seven and a half hours of burning. So there's still lots of coals in there. So I just, uh, you know, open the damper and open this up. I don't even really have to push it around with the poker this morning. Sometimes there's barely anything depending how much I sleep in. But, um, you know, you can get it going with just very little coals, but there's plenty here where I don't even have to do anything. I wouldn't have to use the bellows or kindling or anything. So I'm just gonna take a couple of smaller pieces of wood, put that in there, kind of cross it over like that, and like that. And if I took the bellows right now, I could easily get that going, or I could just, close the door over like that and let it sit like that for a while and it would start on its own no problem but I'll, I'll use the bellows just to show you guys let's get it going here it won't take much I'll just leave the door open like that for a little bit. Throw another piece of wood on there. And, and uh, if you're new to wood burning, then um, this is a great way to do it, you know? Uh, and then you don't have to keep lighting the fire over and over again. All right, well, I hope the video helped you. And uh, please subscribe for more DIY videos. And uh, you know, you should check out my channel. I've got a few other videos on uh, wood heating, how to clean your chimney, um, Especially for this, this is a wood insert, so how to clean your chimney liner. And there's some uh, firewood cutting videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.